happen. Nightwing fighting against a beast version of Batman was definitely not on my list of things to happen in Beast World, but it serves the plot in a pretty unique way. Batman isn't a main player in this story, nor is the Justice League, meaning writers need to find a way to cause the leaguers to become indisposed or just have them play out in their own situations, like the Flash turning into a bee to defeat a Godspeed Japanese Hornet. As for Batman, Nightwing is tasked with constantly restraining a wolfed out Batman who's got all of the skills of Batman, but now is a 10 foot tall Wolfman dog person. And Nightwing can only temporarily keep him down. So when Wolfman Batman wakes up, he bolts straight back to Gotham. And that alone should make it abundantly clear as to why Batman's beast form is a wolf. Because even while he's a were dog, he's still Batman. And Batman protects Gotham like a loyal dog would protect their owner. But because of that weird predisposition of him needing to protect Gotham, he can actually be reasoned with to a degree. Because when an actual crocodile killer croc appears in Gotham, Nightwing and Wolf Batman team up together to take him out. Nightwing fighting. Who is Grid? When Victor Stone, aka Cyborg, created a subsystem in his programming to compile information on Earth's superpowered beings, he didn't count on this system developing into a neural network that eventually attained full sentience with the help of the villain Atomica. Calling itself Grid, the system helped the crime syndicate steal the data of the Justice League, stole Cyborg's cybernetic prosthesis, and joined. Oh no. Once. Grid helps the crime syndicate in their schemes to take over the world in hopes of one day achieving his ultimate goal of developing emotions. Who is Grid? 